Øh, jeg skal lige bruge noget tid på at sidde op til flightplanen fra i går, men der er masser af opgaver på i gang med. Yesterday, on the 16th of August, we performed the second static test of our new rugged Heat 2X. We've been working on Heat 2X for over a year now, and it was the first rocket we would attempt to launch into space on next year's mission to Bonholm. Unfortunately, things didn't go quite as expected. Ten, nine, eight, two, six, five. Engine failures happen all the time during static rocket tests. That's what tests are for. And compared to the explosion you get as a result of a hard start, yesterday's fire was by all means a more controllable scenario. We obviously need to make a thorough inspection of the rocket booster in order to determine the actual cause of the malfunction. What we do know is that the fire was caused by an implosion of the inner cab in the engine right after we had moved from pre-stage to main stage of the operation. The inner cab is part of the cooling system of the engine and separates the chamber from the constant flow of chilled alcohol running on the outside. It appears as if it hasn't been strong enough to withstand the initial discrepancy between the pressures on either side. But even if engine failures happen all the time, it's obviously still a great disappointment. Especially because of all the hours of hard work that's gone into constructing the rocket. And as next year's launch of Heat 2X is now out of the question, we'll be missing out on all the data and experience we would get from that attempt. The good thing is that we a few months ago decided to go for a completely different design for the future. Now we can get back to the drawing board and design a rocket that's a lot closer to the one we aim to launch a man into space with. Stay tuned for a more detailed analysis of the engine failure and news about the next rocket design.